Hello everyone, let's look at integrals, the powers of sine and cosines. And for this one, usually we just look at the powers and then we will try to choose a good strategy for integrating those functions. And for sine and cosine, we usually will look for an odd power and see if whether the sine has an odd power or the cosine have an, has an odd power. It actually doesn't matter which one has an odd power, we just need at least one of them to have an odd power so that we can perform a use up. But then also it will require us to use the Pythagorean identity to, um, to do some manipulation. Okay, so let's look at this one. And as you can see here, the sine has an odd power that's sine cubed. Okay, so what we can do is that the way that we do it is that we look for the odd power and then we get a factor of this and we are going to reserve a copy of the sine and what I mean by that is that we are going to just just write it as sine square of x. Okay, so that's taking uh, two copies from away from this sine cube. And then of course there was still the cosine square in there, right? So let's just copy that. And then you may say, where did that extra copy, the other copy of the sign go? Because it, there's there are supposed to be three copies. And we are just going to put it at the end of the integral. So it will actually now be um, this. So we have the sign x dx right here. Okay, and then you may say, what do we need this for? Um, because we are going to perform a use up and whatever this expression right here will be replacing the du, right? And then, or would be replaced by the du. Um, what we are going to do next is that we are going to turn this sine square into an expression involving cosine using the Pythagorean identity. Uh, what we are going to do here is that we can rewrite it. So we can rewrite it as, what is that? That's going to be one minus cosine square X. Okay, so that sine square turns into this. And then there was a reason for why we are looking for the odd power for the sine, because once you reserve one copy, then the odd power will turn into an even power. And that even power will allow us to turn it in, uh, into an expression involving cosine using the Pythagorean identity. So that's why we look for the odd power. Okay, now the cosine score x is just right here. So we will just leave it right there. Okay, cosine score x. And then of course there was still that's uh, the sine x and then dx that we didn't even touch. Okay, so at this point we are going to perform the u sub. We're going to perform the u sub right now. The u sub is going to be we are going to let u be cosine x. And then you may say, what about the du? The du would be leg of sine x dx. Okay. Now, as you can see right here, we do have that sine x, and then we have the sine x right here, and then we have the dx, and we also have the dx here. What we do not have is really just that minus sign. So we can multiply both sides by negative one, and then we can turn that equation into um, negative du, and then sine x dx. Okay, now we are ready to replace the sine x dx with the leg of the du and then also of course the all the cosines will turn into the u right so let's do that here we are going to get the integral to be one minus what is that that's u square so that's u square and then there was also a cosine square right here and cosine x is u right so we are going to get u square here as well And then what about this sine x dx? We are going to replace it by the du, so we put it here. And then the du. Now it's really important that we put a pair of parentheses to surround the negative one times the du, otherwise it will become subtraction here. So it's important that 
we'll put a pair of parentheses to indicate that's multiplication. Or if you want, you can actually even put a dot in between to make it look less confusing. So let's do that here. And then we get negative one and then times the du. Actually, we don't, if you don't want to put the one, then you can simply just put the negative du here. Okay, so now this negative one is a constant and we can move it outside the integral. We don't need to worry about this negative one here. So in the next step, we are going to get negative integral of one minus u square then times u square and then times du. Now we don't need the parentheses anymore for the du. And then because this is a product, we should distribute before we do the integration. So we are going to get negative integral. And then if we distribute this u square to the one and then distribute this u, u square to the um, negative u square, then we are going to get u square minus u to the fourth and then times du and so we are going to get minus now integrating the u square and then the u to the fourth we are going to get u to the third power over three right and then minus u to the fifth power over five or times one fifth And then of course we can put a plus the C here. And then all we need to do in the next step is really just to distribute that minus sign on the outside to both turns. And also substituting the cosine X back into the U. So final answer, we have, final answer, we have a uh, negative one over three. And then the U is the uh, cosine X, right? Oh, actually, I don't need the parentheses anymore. So let me just put cosine x. And then, of course, we can put the cube in between the cosine and the x, right? And then distribute that minus sign to this minus sign here. We are going to get plus 1 over 5. And then what do we have here? Again, it's cosine x, right? So cosine x. And then I put the fifth power here. And then plus c. Okay, so this one is actually a simple use up, but it will require you to see which power of the sine or the cosine is an odd power so that you can reserve a copy. And after you reserve a copy, then you can, you have an even power left on that function and you can use the Pythagorean identity to turn it into the other function. So in this case, I turn the sine square x into one minus cosine square x. And then I do a use up. And then that reserve copy is really just for um, for um, making the substitution with the du. And then after that, the rest will be just straightforward. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give me some support. I will really appreciate that. Thank you. And I will see you next time.